So we are recognizing Pride Month, June. Yeah, who doesn't like to be an ally? I just love the colors. Oh, yeah. How can you not? I really do. Yeah. You know, one. I used to love rainbows so much that back when I had braces, I would always do rainbows. Uh, and one time, this dumbass put white in it, which, like, that's not how a rainbow goes. It's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Roy and G. anything Biff. outside of that is incorrect. Yeah. After that, I got so <laughs> ridiculously ma- meticulous about how they did my braces. Like, I would have to choose the colors out beforehand and like, I couldn't just say, hey, do it rainbow, because I didn't trust him. Man, I thought I was, uh, <laughs> I thought I was anal. Yeah. No, I was, I was but an anal kid, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, here's the thing. I had to wear it on my face for at least a month, my face, you Everybody, know? even dentists should know Roy G. Biff. At, at least. Come on. Come on. But it is the, um, the colors of the rainbow that I love so much. Mm-hmm. And uh, some conservatives are offended that the uh, gays... The LGBTQIA plusers. The alphabet mafia. Yeah, have stolen the rainbow from God. Mm -hmm. As if it also didn't belong to, I don't know, Judy Garland, Care Bears, (laughs) My Little Pony, Rainbow Bright. Every leprechaun ever. Kermit the Frog, (laughs) leprechauns. (laughs) Right. Thank you. (laughs) And, you know, dead pets. Yes. Crossing the rainbow bridge. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was a real bummer to end on. <laughs> I should have I snuck that somewhere in the middle. <laughs> it's all right. Probably probably better to give it the weight that it deserves. Yeah. Yeah. I've had we've all had a pet that uh, that's on the other side. <sighs> I mean, not all of us. Some of us are monsters. Have you heard? <laughs> Some of you, I wouldn't trust with a ten foot pole. Honestly, people I who know what's the <laughs> people who've never had and don't have pets freak me out, man. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, okay, think of all of the love and care that goes into you know being the caretaker of a pet. Someone who's never experienced that and who actively doesn't want to kind of freaks me out. So I, pride events aren't happening in Idaho Falls until later in the month. Mm-hmm. Let's run them down. It's the big weekend is the weekend of Friday, June 21st mm-hmm. and Saturday, June 22nd. Friday night, June 21st, the drag show at the West Bank. Always fun. <laughs> yeah. Then Saturday, the 22nd, the parade starts at 10 a.m. It goes from the Unitarian Universalist Church to the West Bank. Oh, nice. And back to about where they started, about the Idaho Falls Greenbelt stage. Oh, nice. Nice. That's There's a that little parking lot by the memorial roundabout and mm-hmm. then a stage. And then right after the parade is the festival from 10 to 5 that day. Oh, nice. They've got some really big sponsors, which I'm, I'm mm-hmm. glad to see on this. Uh, INL, Ermac, and of course, Adam and Eve. Right. Always a good one. <laughs> and uh, oh, the following weekend, Friday, June 28th, it's Chuckers Pride Night. Oh, fun. Nice. So go swing a bat at some balls, boys. <laughs> How long did you think about that before you came up with that joke? It just joke? came out. I'm so it's impressed. Just, I would have never guessed. <laughs> well, and also, Remember to wear a glove. Well, and we've also <laughs> talked plenty of times about how damn good baseball <laughs> baseball players' asses look in those damn pants. The, the Chuckers got some cake. Chuckers they got do. some cake. Yeah. Like, realistically, I kind of think that watching a baseball game might be the gayest thing you can do. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, we're I, kidding. <laughs> we got to go. We got to go. I got to go once a summer and have an overpriced hot dog. I'll take you. You got it.